Hey guys, Noel here, and it is Friday night, and while wife and kids are asleep, I thought it would be fun to do a video game review for the video game section of the Noel Comics YouTube channel. You know, one of my favorite things to watch when I was in high school and junior high was WCW, and in 1999, WCW decided to try something new. They decided to go with Electronic Arts very prestigious American video game studio to make their video games and while EA was prestigious they weren't quite as good at making wrestling games as Aki Asmik. Uh, WWF was able to gobble those guys up uh, for some N64 awesomeness but WCW uh, would not be left without a good video game and the video game we're going to be reviewing today is WCW Mayhem on the Sony PlayStation, brought to you by Surge Soda. Uh, life's a scream with Surge. So uh, this game plays like the Aki Asmic wrestling games, but not quite as intuitively. You grapple, and rather than holding the grapple button down for different amounts of time, you hit different buttons on the controller to do different moves. Um, you have a very nice, large roster of WCW wrestlers, but if you want to play with them off the bat, you have to use this password here. I'm going to look like Wilson from Home Improvement here. So, uh, so yeah, there's that. Use this if you want to unlock all of the wrestlers, because this game does have a password code system. So, without further ado, let's join the heroes of WCW and NWO, Red and White, and much, much more in WCW Mayhem on the Sony PlayStation. Let's go. Don't turn your back on the wolf pack. You might wind up in a body bag. <laughs> so, this game, as you can see, has very, very good graphics. Um, these graphics were really, really impressive in 1999, and... I think are still impressive uh, today. Uh, they were the most photorealistic polygonal graphics a wrestling game had ever seen. And uh, it was definitely a, uh, def a big plus for this video game was its graphical presentation. Uh, let's be Bret Hart. Who is a hidden character. It's just another, another example of how WCW just, you know, didn't capitalize on Bret Hart. Um, but you can also be Chris Jericho, the Cruiserweights, Prince Iakea. Sadly, this was before Vince Russo took over, so we don't get to play as the artist formerly known as Prince Iakea. But we do get to play as Mean Gene Okerlund. Uh, why don't uh, we fight Mean Gene? Uh, because uh, Bret Hart is mad that Mean Gene questioned El Dandy uh, as... Uh, you know, not being a jam-up guy worthy of Bret Hart's U.S. title. And we see our loading screen, which features Chris Jericho walking toward a confused Ric Flair in red granny panties. It's uh, not good. Uh, WCW Backstage Assault, the sequel to this game, which was really bad, uh, did have good loading screens. This is a good game with bad loading screens. Its sequel is a bad game with good loading screens. And if you want to see the review to WCW Backstage Assault, uh, please check it out on the Noel Comics YouTube channel. We are at WCW Saturday Night. Let's get the robot arm. Sadly, they didn't use Bret Hart's theme music. His uh, th uh, last WCW theme song, which is what he... I think he had, he had three theme songs. He had two very similar ones that sounded kind of kazooey. And then his uh, third one was really good. <laughs> I love how Mean Gene announces himself. Making his way to the ring. Me! <laughs> Mean Gene, you are going down for questioning L. Dandy. L. Dandy's a jam-up guy, and uh, he's amazing. I mean, he's not, he's not as good as hypnosis. You mean psychosis? <laughs> oh, whatever. <laughs> There's my cat, Smokey. Bret Hart 
it's gone from wrestling Shawn Michaels at the Survivor Series to uh, Mean Gene in uh, WCW Saturday Night, which honestly is uh, not as bad as it sounds. That, that's that's a lateral move. I'm not actually sure how to pick up weapons in this match. Maybe I should have uh, checked that out before I started the review. Ah, well, we'll just figure it out on the fly. One, two, Mean Gene with a kick out. They do have Bret Hart's uh, moveset down. Mean Gene's getting weaker. There we go. I think mean Gene will submit to this thing that I'm doing here with his leg. You know, my cousin met Mean Gene at a Hooters. He uh, said he was a real jam-up guy. Seriously, he, he's got a picture with him. <laughs> oh, he super kicked me. <laughs> mean Gene using Shawn Michaels' moves to spite Bret Hart. Oh, man, Mean Gene, he is not playing. He, he dropped him like he dropped Vince McMahon. Well, mean Gene's tougher than Vince. Dude, he's got Bret Hart staggered here. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> Damn it, Mean Gene. <laughs> there you go. That's what you get for taunting me. How do I do my sharpshooter here? See, this is what I mean when it's not quite as intuitive as... Uh, there's a grapple button, but... One, two, and I kicked out again. I'm gonna do a heart attack here. Nope, oh, spear. Did I over? No, I, I had him there. Side rush and legs. So we will mean jeans popping right up. All right, finish him. Grapple. Oh, here we go. I'll finish him. All right. No, I won't. <laughs> See if this will get him. One, two. Damn it. One thing people have talked about this game is the collision detection, and uh, I'm, I'm noticing there being a little bit of a, you know, trickiness here as I'm trying to utilize the weapons here. There we go. Squeaked out a victory over Mean Gene on WCW Saturday night. Yeah, look at Mean Gene, the, the consummate professional announcing Bret Hart's win moments after losing to him in a wrestling match. Now, there are other things you can do in this game. There's a battle royal mode, but I'm going to be honest with you. I can't figure out how to throw people out of the ring, and uh, that might be stupid on my part. Uh, it's been a while since I played this game. I used to play this game uh, quite a bit in 1999 and 2000. But uh, I was much more of a single player guy. There is like a, you know, like a story mode type thing you can go through to unlock wrestlers. But in all honesty, I just used the password to unlock all the wrestlers. So. And uh, 
and uh, I'm gonna be honest with you, I I don't remember the the depth of the story mode. Um, so we'll uh, have to revisit that on another review. But why don't we do uh, one more match? We'll uh, we'll do a tag match, and uh, uh, let's do a nitro. And we'll be Hulk Hogan, leader of the uh, NWO Hollywood. Although I was considered, uh, when Hulk Hogan joined the Wolf Pack, I was considered Nash the leader of the Wolf Pack. And the way that they resolved the conflict between the Wolf Pack and uh, Black and White was that Hulk got to be the champion, but Nash got to be the leader. That was how I always understood the ending to that story. We're going to fight both Stings. We'll fight the Black and White Sting. And we'll also fight Wolf Pack Sting. As we listen to the Nitro theme here. This is like Sting's retirement match. Multiple versions of Sting. Sadly, there's no Surfer Sting. It's a pretty big weekend for wrestling pay-per-views. You have uh, King of the Ring in Saudi Arabia tomorrow. And then on Sunday, you have AEW Double or Nothing. Ah, the loading screen. WCW's weird 90s skater logo on the corner. I said it before and I'll say it again. I just thought that was a cross. I'm like, oh yeah, that's like a cool kind of skater Y2K vibe cross, you know. But it really says WCW. Um, you know, it's odd that they didn't put Hulk in red and black in this game, considering they put him in the wolf pack, which is what they should have done, because at this point in time, he was in the wolf pack. Um, so I don't know. I mean, he did kind of continue to wear whatever NWO color he felt like wearing, but, you know. He, uh, he was a wolf pack guy, so a lot of time what he'd do is he'd wear, like, an, a wolf pack shirt, and then he'd have, like, this red and white NWO beanie, you know. All right, whatever, let's go. Oop. Looking at the wrong guy here. Ooh, X bomber Still can do your taunts here. And, uh... Ooh. One thing I feel like we haven't talked enough about is uh, the quality of uh, announcers in this game. Tony Schiavone is my uh, all-time favorite play-by-play -play guy, and Bobby Heenan is my all-time favorite... Um, color man so uh, the fact that they're both on point in this game is definitely a big positive go down wolf pack sting i heard one of sting's kids is now training to be a pro wrestler i don't know if it's the one that was wolf pack sting or surfer sting in the retirement match but uh that retirement match with the young bucks was phenomenal Incidentally, if you didn't see AEW on Wednesday, Darby Allen came out with a flamethrower. It was phenomenal. And then, like, Christian carjacked someone and Edge did the bloodbath. It was, like, really, really good. Side Russian leg sweep.
Oh, finally, we got him. Oh, look, see, Brett and Hulk can be friends. I always wanted them to do, like, a tag team with Hulk and Brett. And then have it break up with them having like a really big match at a pay-per-view. But that would have made too much sense, sadly. Alright, guys. Well, there you have it. That is WCW Mayhem for Sony PlayStation. Now, this game was also available for the N64. We'll review that game another time. But on a scale of 1 to 10, I would give WCW Mayhem for the Sony PlayStation an 8 out of 10, maybe a 7.5 out of 10. It's a really good, solid game. Not quite as intuitive as um, its N64 counterparts, but uh, it's got a solid roster of characters. It's got great graphics. It's got good announcers. Um, and it's got some nice tracks, uh, music tracks, if you like listening to the nitro theme and the wolf pack theme you'll enjoy this game so until next time guys my name is noel you take care and i will see you in the very near future for more video game review fun on the noel comics youtube channel bye bye